Hello everybody, this is Josh from Millennium Gaming, and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Last episode, we cleared the first two levels of World 4 uh, Seabreeze Cove, and that was 4-1 Deep Keep and 4-2 High Tide Ride. Next, we're going to be playing 4-3 Amizabis, probably one of my favorite levels in the whole game, because it's A, a silhouette level, B, it's got awesome music, and C, it's underwater. All of which are very, very cool things, so I can't imagine this level being bad. Unless it was bad and it was designed by somebody that's not Retro Studios, which it's not. So this is a completely redundant argument. I don't even know why I'm having this argument with myself. And it starts with this song, which is for some reason called Elemental or Stolen or something. Crazy. Ah. You know you're tired when you can't even... Like, wow. So this is cool because it transitions into uh, silhouette mode as you go underwater. And there's all, like, the ships and stuff. So, uh, spin attacking... That sounds like a Sonic reference, but it's not, I swear. Spinning near these uh, groups of fish, they, they light up, and oh, there's a, there's a, okay, ah! okay let's not die. Um, the Kong letters, uh, like, they'll, they'll light up, and the sea an anemone, ow! Okay, bam, we got the K, awesome. This one's actually got some pretty difficult uh, Kong letters to get. As I recall, it may take one or two tries, so don't hate me. Okay, uh, oh yeah, 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 this is, for some reason, now I, I can kind of understand it, but for some reason, this is like the, the moment that like most people were like, wow, this is like the best game ever in the history of ever, and I'm just like, well, it's cool, but it's not like mind-blowing, it's like, it's a fish guy. <laughs> we. I don't care. I don't know, it's cool, it's just not, like, mind-blowing. Uh, what's with these brain... I mean, I mean, I know they're not brains, but, like, it seems like they seem to have a penchant for absorbing light. Uh, there is a puzzle piece back there, and I believe there is something to throw over here. What? Oh, no, wait, you have to use that guy. <laughs> Threw him into the water, that was actually pretty funny. Uh, you have to use him to chuck there. Uh, so you gotta bounce up, use Diddy's jetpack to grab that, and not especially difficult. It shouldn't be difficult for you veterans of the series. Uh, so these, yeah, these jellyfish go up and down and the anemone will slowly return. I have to say I really do like the way that they um, d have designed the silhouettes here and stuff because it's a good mix. It's a silhouette, but it's not just a silhouette. It's also, um, you know, background elements and stuff. So, and then, like, of course, when you light everything up, it's not silhouette. So it gives it... I guess, not really an air of believability, but it gives it kind of that extra amount of immersion. So you're going to have to spin by those arrow signpost things. I realize I'm a little bit delayed in my commentary, so forgive me. But you have to spin by the arrow post things, and uh, then they will light up for you, and you'll be able to go by. Without worrying, I've been spinning for like 20 consecutive seconds. That's pretty, pretty dang freaking awesome. I have to admit that I think that's pretty dang freaking awesome. And Diddy Kong died, so thanks for that, Diddy. Thanks for being my pal. I always believed in you, too. Thanks for helping me out, doing me a solid. Not. Okay, uh, let's... No! Okay, let's not die at this section. Uh, hey, Tough Tuck, come here. I want to chuck you at something. Do I need... No, I don't need reasons. Doesn't need even be something that I want that, that's useful to chuck at. I didn't want to hit that bag there. I wanted to actually just throw you at the ground. That was what I wanted to do. Not. Okay. What? There we go. I love how uh, Donkey Kong does sort of a dive animation as he goes into the water. It makes it like the, the way they've animated everything is very, very fluid and very, very um, just you know, kind of spectacular. Like it's a very, very well designed uh, animation system. As a game designer, like, I have designed one or two games, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, probably won't give a shameless plug here and link to my game, but, uh, as a game designer, I wonder what some of these things would take, like, for programming, like, some of them are really impressive, and I just don't know what you'd, like, how you would, uh, program some of them. Some of them are just mind-blowing, and some of them are just downright frustrating, like, the inability to move when you're spinning, which is actually also completely understandable, so... Okay, there we go. Alright, let's try this again. Let's get the Kong letters! Get all the Kongs! Ow, 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 hey, hey, sir. There we go, thank you very much, sir. 
What? And the level, finally. Awesome. Good. What? Let's go find an N. Ow. Oh, it's probably at the top. Right there. I see it now. That's such a stupid, stupid thing for me to miss. Can't believe that I missed that. That, I'm sorry everyone. That, that was a travesty on my part. And Diddy Kong's dead again because of me. I should feel guilty, but I really don't. Okay, now we got uh, the end. The end was hiding in plain sight. But, uh, of course, that's the best kind of design, especially with a dark level. That's exactly what you want to do. Uh, that's the first level we beat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, this is going to be fun. Okay, 4-4, four, four, I rate H. Here we go. Yes, I am ready to play. Uh, I'm going to go back and play the secret levels uh, at the end, I think. Probably just because they they, they cross over. It's weird. They, they go from, I think... There's, there's two secret levels in a row, and then they end up at, like, the fifth level of the um, world or something. So it's just a bit odd. So this is 4-4, four, four, I rate 8. Probably one of my favorite water levels, just on virtue of the music. Not the aquatic ambience right here. Even though it's really good, I like aquatic ambience. It's cool. It's a bit too calm for my tastes. So right here this is this is it right here oh yeah lockjaw saga from donkey kong country 2 you know it brother that is the bomb see what see that see that see see what I, never mind just 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 leave me be okay just don't don't hate me but yeah it's ah uh, yes i don't like i didn't play donkey kong country 2 as much as i played Super Mario World or the other Donkey Kong Country games. I actually played the third one the most because for some reason it was my favorite. Um, but the fact is that I do remember quite vividly out of all the songs in any of the Donkey Kong Country games, there was one that was on the boardwalk uh, levels by the oceans or whatever in uh, Donkey Kong Country 3, but then there was Lockjaw Saga from, uh, from 2. And, ah, oh, it's just the best. And this is the main part of the level. The, the, the octopus is back. The octopus from uh, from the one level in Donkey Kong Country Returns is back. And he wants revenge for us not doing anything bad to him because he was merely trying to kill us. It's not exactly our fault. Ah! I'm sorry, Dixie. Uh, okay, so we get boosted up here. Now we get boosted up even more. Now we have to plan this so it's good. Yeah. And then we go all the way up. Wow, that was... And bam. There we go. Okay. Oh, that... okay, that's one of many encounters with them. I thought that, that was the final encounter, but I am clearly not in my right mind because... Okay, sure, whatever. Just... Just... Ah! Please don't. Just kind of try to kill me. That's not going to really work out for you, mind you, because I am too fast for gnomes. But you could try, I guess. I can't blame you for trying. Ow, Dixie Kong, why do you keep dying? It's not your fault. It's not my fault. That's what I meant to say. It's definitely your fault. Oh, oh now I don't even have a Dixie Kong. Oh, I do. I can't have a... I... Hey, Cranky, let's go die! Okay! There we go, Dixie Kong. I think they've probably designed it so you could have Dixie Kong with you. Ah! Ah! Save me! Oh my gosh, that was like the girliest scream I've ever given out, ever. So I'm sorry. But, uh, that was terrifying, so. Spinny Winnie. Spinny Winnie. That actually, that works well. Spinny Winnie. I like that. Ah! No! 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 Ah! I'm sorry, Dixie. I'll go on without you. Your legacy shall be carried in my soul. I shall etch your name on my tie, and I will remember you whenever I need to have a sudden fuel of revenge. Ah-ha! Yeah, I get it. Donkey Kong Country is a prime real estate, but really? Just give the guy a break already. Actually, okay, fine. He had like a 10-year break or something. But that's not counting Donkey Kong 64 or Jungle Beat or any of the other games on the, uh... 
on on the GameCube. So so think about that for a second. Now he's trying to crush us, but we're too fast for gnomes, so that's not gonna work. And up we go. Okay, this is a little interesting bit. You have to time it so you hit all three. Uh, you have to hit them when they go by you on the barrel, and then you blow him up and he dies. And the barrel comes out of his brain, and we break his brain and get a life out of it. So we stole, basically what we did was we stole the life energy. We're, we're Metroids, really, is what I'm trying to say. We stole life energy out of his brain, and uh, it's a bit of a bit of a stretch. But, you know, maybe it's a theory. Maybe Donkey Kong's a Metroid, and he just hallucinates that he's a... You know, I'm not even going to try anymore. That's just... That's just pathetic on my part. Okay, definitely the end of the episode. That probably took a while. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Blame the Gaming, like this video, and comment with your thoughts on it. I would love to hear them. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like, so that I can improve on the things you didn't like and keep doing the things that you did like. Lots of likes. New videos going to be coming every Wednesday and every Saturday. I hope you watch those too. But in the meantime, this is Josh signing off. See you guys.